China's crazy plan to bomb 70 mountains. This is why. This airport in China was built after blasting 70 mountains and took nearly 8 years. In today's episode, you are going to be amazed by China's crazy plan to bomb 70 mountains to build an airport. Jinchengjiang Airport is a regional airport located in the city of Jinchengjiang in the province of Hubei, China. Although it is a relatively small airport compared to major airports in China, it plays an important role in serving the local community and providing air transportation to the surrounding areas. Jinchengjiang Airport was first built in 1956 and has since undergone several expansions and renovations to accommodate the growing demands of air travel. The airport has a single runway and a small terminal building that can handle up to 200 passengers per hour. The airport currently operates domestic flights to major cities in China, such as Beijing, Shanghai, and Guangzhou, providing convenient air transportation for local residents. Despite its relatively small size, Jinchengjiang Airport is well equipped with modern facilities and amenities. The terminal building features a spacious waiting area, where passengers can relax before their flight. There are also several restaurants, cafes, and shops available for passengers to enjoy, offering a range of food and drinks as well as souvenirs and gifts. The airport has implemented several security measures to ensure the safety and security of passengers and staff. These measures include baggage checks, security screenings, and surveillance cameras, which are in place to prevent any security incidents. In addition, there is a fire station located on the airport grounds, ensuring that the airport is fully equipped to handle any emergency situations. Jinchengjiang Airport is also a hub for cargo operations, providing air transportation services for local businesses and industries. The airport has a dedicated cargo terminal equipped with modern facilities and equipment, including loading docks, cranes, and conveyors. The airport is able to handle a variety of cargo, including hazardous materials, and has implemented strict safety and security measures to ensure the safe and efficient handling of these materials. Despite its relatively small size, Jinchengjiang Airport has made significant contributions to the local economy. The airport provides employment opportunities for local residents, including airport staff and workers in related industries, such as aviation maintenance, catering, and retail. In addition, the airport has also attracted investment from local businesses, which has helped to boost the local economy and provide further employment opportunities. Jingchengjiang Airport is also an important center for tourism and cultural exchange in the region. The airport provides easy access to the city of Jingchengjiang and its many attractions, such as historic temples, scenic parks, and cultural museums. The airport also serves as a gateway to the surrounding areas, providing easy access to the stunning natural beauty of Hubei province, including its rugged mountains, pristine lakes, and rolling hills. The Jinchengjiang Airport offers services to both the military and the general public. At the airport in China, the provinces of Guangxi and Guangzhou meet. The airport is only 450 kilometers from Vietnam, which is a nearby country. The airport is at the point where two provinces meet. This airport is the highest one in the province of Guangxi, and it is called Level 4C. The city of Guangzhou is the provincial capital of Guangdong and one of China's biggest cities with a population of more than 14 million people. It is also one of the most populated cities in the country. People have lived in Guangzhou for more than 2,000 years, which makes it a very old place. During the Tang Dynasty, it was a major center for business and trade, and it was an important part of how international trade grew in the area. China's Guangzhou is known for its growing economy, its rich cultural history, and its busy streets. It is also known as a big city that is modern and full of life. There are a lot of things to see and do in the city. One of them is the world-famous Canton Tower, which has amazing views of the area where the city is. The Guangzhou Opera House, the Guangdong Museum, and the Chen Family Temple are also well-known tourist spots in Guangdong Province. The Chen Family Temple stands out because it is one of the biggest and best-kept temple complexes in the area. 
People think of Guangzhou as one of China's culinary capitals because its food is so good, and this part of its culture is well known. The city is known for its Cantonese food, which is made with fresh ingredients that are full of flavor. Some of the most popular dishes are dim sum, roasted duck, and different ways to cook seafood. Guangzhou is easy to get to because it is well connected by air, road, and rail. The city is served by Guangzhou Baiyun International Airport, which is not only one of the busiest airports in China, but also makes it easy to get to both domestic and international destinations. People usually have to travel for a long time and change trains several times to get there because the area is mountainous. It is far away and transportation isn't very convenient. Because of these things, it can be very hard to get there. In this situation, building an airport is a must if the tourism industry is to grow in a big way. Before the current crown pandemic broke out, tourists from outside the country brought in at least $1 million a year to the local economy. It took eight years to build the Jinchenjiang Airport, which isn't very important. It's clear that building this airport was much harder than you could have imagined. Even though the terrain is very difficult, China planned to build an airport in this area so that it could continue to grow its economy. First, a flat area needed to be built on the top of the mountain. The heights of these mountains were different, and their peaks were not all in the same place. The first thing the building crew will do is clean up the mountains. Then they will fill in the valleys between the mountains. Between these mountains, the deepest ravine that needs to be filled is 126 meters deep, and there are a total of 23 ravines of different lengths and depths. The tallest of these dozens of peaks will be cut off by 87 meters, and the deepest valley that needs to be filled between these mountains is 126 meters. Even though these calculations look simple, the actual building process is a lot of hard work for the construction team. The construction crew decided that the ditches between the mountains would have to be filled in by hand, even though the tops of the mountains would be blown up with explosives. When the airport in China was built, the world was shocked by how dangerous it was. The runway is only 45 meters wide, making it one of the narrowest in the world. If you look down from the airport, you can see that it is surrounded by 300-meter-high cliffs and ravines. Only one airport in China was made by cutting through mountains. After the building was done, there were new risks at the airport because the runway is only 2,200 meters long. The plane's pilot needs to know more about technical things the short of the runway. Some people think it looks like a road to the sky, which is another name for an aeroplane carrier parked at sea. Also, the plane's airflow is often disturbed by the terrain around it. There is fog in the mountains of Guangxi, and the weather is also very bad. When getting ready to land, the weather forecast is very good, but the fog that covers the second half of the sky may make the pilots feel stressed out before landing. In the past, a Chinese airliner with 130 people on board flew over this area and crashed within two minutes after falling from an altitude of 8,000 meters. People think that there may be a magnetic field in the area or that it may have something to do with changes in the weather in the area. Because of this, the area is a big challenge for pilots. At first, the airport even had two captains to help solve the problem. But this is no longer a problem because pilots are now trained and checked out very carefully. The airport will also give the crew different training that are each made for a different set of circumstances. This way, both technical and mental challenges can be met and overcome. But because of how far away the airport is and the big test of the new corona epidemic that happened right after it was finished, the number of local tourists has dropped by 80%. So even though the airport only has four routes, there aren't many people using it, and it's still losing money. Because there aren't that many people using the airport, there are sometimes delays in how it works. Both the airport and the passenger need to agree on when the plane will leave. When there are a lot of people using the airport, it is likely to be open every day. When there aren't many people using it, it may only be open once a week or once a month. That's all. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon to get more videos.